Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a crazy Friday we had yesterday with day one of Foot What If Team number two. We'll talk about all the stuff that happened, the crazy panic selling that there was. Talk about this team two and what it means, what we learned from yesterday, and also a couple of quote unquote leaks uh, that we also learned about uh, with the stuff going forward, right? We had the combination of two for one packs being released into the pack code as well as a guaranteed what if player SBC pack being added to the code as well. And that was that was what caused a lot of panic yesterday. And then EA um, messed up like lightning rounds yesterday. And honestly, just right now on this game, it feels like there is not a lot of hype. The promo team is not that good. And of course, I feel like we are on thin ice right now with this game. We're on thin ice in terms of this market is just not very alive. There's not a lot of hype. So I want to I want today to talk about why this market is kind of bleeding the way that it is right now, what this means, and honestly, why this kind of happens every year around this point and what the whole two for one packs could do. I don't know if they're coming out today or if the guaranteed what if player SBC is coming out today, but since those SBCs are in the code, that's kind of hanging over our heads and uh, that is impacting the market 100 percent now here you see this is the code that was re released yesterday on friday right before the promo drop and there was tons and tons of panic specifically on the what if players from team number one this in babu is 343 which by the way i think this card is so cheap right now because nobody can find it on the game because it is not searchable under the what if feature i think that is playing a large part into why this card is so cheap but this guy was 380k dropped down in the panic to 335 went back to 370 and is now chilling in the 330s, 340s once again, uh, going back down. Most of the other what if cards rebounded back up though. Le Melu still is pretty low. Marcelo guaranteed the upgrade, pretty cheap. A lot of these cards, as you can tell by their graphs, we'll take a look at Jovic, for example. I mean, this guy got panic sold so much early on Friday morning with the announcement of that code. It was announced by right here. He was 132. He went down to about 110, actually, where I saw him at, and has now bounced back to about 130. So right now, kind of the hype on FIFA, honestly, is these live cards. A lot of these guys are playing games uh, today on Saturday, so we're going to 100%, if I could type in correctly, Sofa score. We're going to 100% need to watch Burnley Arsenal, right? There's live cards playing in, inside of that game today. Sevilla, of course. Um, you know, all, all of these. Hoffenheim with the Genduzzi. You've got a, a big game with uh, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich, right? But you have some live cards on the line there as well. Uh, and there's no Feyenoord plays. So for Leroy Fair, there's some games today on Saturday with some what if cards that we'll 100% have to keep an eye on. Um, but. This was really the, the cause of all of that panic yesterday. Now, the entire market was honestly panic sold. If we take a look at some of these cards as well, our, our popular golds, Mbappe and Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo, were down so much. This Mbappe went from 800,000 coins yesterday, 809, 820, all the way down to 727, rebounded back to almost 800K, and is now chilling. But this is still significantly lower than what he was. So I think right now, a lot of people have sold some stuff and just the way the market is right now on FIFA, nobody is like hyped up to try cards except for some of the new icon moments uh, and possibly heading into next week with live cards and road to the finals. Like the only thing that I would be messing around with, the only thing that seemed to be hyped up by people or people are interested in right now in FIFA is live cards, whether that's road to the finals or these what if cards and icon moments because icon moments, the ones they released today had some pretty big juice on the boost, Kaka's card with was like plus six pace looks incredible, right? There's a lot of these moments cards. Um, Owen got a five star weak foot upgrade, so a lot of people were trying him out. And it, it, we just had a, a, a very interesting day on Friday. And again, the SBC fodder is so high. And I want to also talk about the potential for these two for one packs and what it could do for the market. So, again, let's talk about this for a second. What are the two for one? Packs. Now, last year, what they did, they dropped these packs last year, literally to on this date last year. Now, I'm not saying they're going to do it today. I honestly don't think they are going to do it today because of some other stuff that we saw on Twitter today. Yesterday, we thought it was going to come out on the promo on Friday, but it didn't. It's looking like, according to Twitter, that it is going to be coming out next Friday with the return of the Foot Player Days um, promo from FIFA 20 
which I want to uh, click on right here, if I could find it. FIFA 20, Foot Player Days. Um, I think it's this one right here, maybe. Foot Player Days, FIFA 20. Yeah, so last year they had this. They dropped the Economy Bowl base Man of the Match items. They had two-for-one packs and coin discount packs, tiered engagement rewards, prime icons and draft, extra weekend league player picks, and icon swaps three. Now, imagine we are on icon swaps two right now with only nine tokens available. Last year, at the same date, we were on icon swaps three. So that just gives you a sense of how much of an L icon uh, swaps have been this year in total. Uh, anyways, but uh, last year, they released the same kind of thing at this time, kind of an early March they release these buy one, get one free packs. And again, how it works is, let's say you pat, you purchase a pack here with coins or FIFA points in the store, right? If it's two for one, it'll say jumbo rare players packs, two for one. You'll open the pack just like normal. And inside of it, you'll have a full regular pack. Inside of it, you'll have basically one of those like uh, pack tokens that will say here, you click on this and you redeem it for another pack of the same value. That's how a two for one pack works. Now also they'll have half price packs. So basically if you have 25K and 45K packs sitting here, you will have packs for 22,500 coins and you will have packs for 12,500 coins uh, sitting here. And it'll, the FIFA points will be the same, but the coins will be half the price and it'll be the same pack. So that's how like the buy one, get one free or two for one, also known as same thing. And then coin discount packs, that's how they work. But the issue with those packs is, is that if people were contemplating putting, putting on FIFA points, I mean, literally what more of a reason do you need? You have a promo team in packs. People on FIFA have just spent their entire club's worth on SBC fodder. As this stuff is dropping now today with the lightning round supply, it's just going to keep going down, especially if we get more and more uh, supply. If they do two for one packs, like this stuff, stuff is going to get destroyed, honestly, because the supply is going to be insane on the fodder and on everything that is in packs when two for one packs come out because people start opening packs with coins and that is very risky, right? Because they say, hey, 100,000 coins? I get two packs for this. Let me see if I can make my money back. But of course, you know, when EA do that, the pack weight is still so very low that you never really ever come out on top. And it just drains the market of coins. People open packs to try to get cards. Now, if fodder was this expensive and they dropped two for ones, then I would say sure. But honestly, I, I think that, you know, this, this makes sense for EA to wait to drop the player days promo until next week when fodder has maybe dropped off a little bit more throughout this next week before next Friday so that uh, people don't make as many coins when they spam these packs uh, if, if they were to send, set them out uh, next Friday. So that's why there was a lot of panic selling yesterday on Friday is because the potential for a market crash, even more so, even after we've had so many coins that have been drained off the market through the Icon Player Pick SBCs, through Player Pick Packs in general, uh, even more coins would be taken off this game if they were to drop a uh, two for one packs on this game. Now, of course, you think about a guaranteed what if player SBC because um, some of these new what if items are in packs. And uh, of course, instead of a party bag, it looks like we might be getting this guaranteed what if SBC, which to be honest with you is is not that bad. Now, this retrials I'm kind of interested right now because this guy was very he was like 1.7 mil earlier today. How much supply does he have to 1.6? He really has no supply. So some of these cards are probably going to bounce around, but I think you might see some people that will sell these cards headed into 6 p.m. today on Saturday because you will be they will be thinking that guaranteed what if player SBC pack could be dropping. Now, I don't think I would expect that to come until at least Sunday. You know, the second day of a promo, EA releasing a guaranteed player pack from the team that is in packs and the team won. I don't think you would see that sort of a sort of thing happen right away. But I guess it is possible that they could do something along those lines uh, in, in this game. But I think that'll be more in like a Sunday or Monday type time frame. But I think today you'll see panic selling on the brand new what if cards and some of the team one what if cards as well. You probably see some selling there on both sides. But again, if we take a look at this team from team number two, like look at just look at how much these players cost and that tells you why there's not a lot of hype literally everybody in this entire team is under 300,000 coins except for the three attackers at the top Richarlison Mertens and Morales 
uh, and literally everybody else is under 300K. Like these cards, yes, they are kind of cool. But we really haven't seen too many of them except for Mbabu and Marcelo get upgraded yet. Now we do have one, two, three, four, only four defenders this time around. Uh, P Perea, Pepe, and Regulon, only four defenders, right? The rest are midfielders or attackers. So it's all about the goals for these teams and the clean sheets for Spurs, uh, Porto, and Leicester City. So we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on those games. Um, but even when these cards get upgraded, like we saw with Mbabu, there's just not a lot of hype in this game right now because everybody has exhausted their clubs. They've exhausted their coins. And this is honestly, we were talking about this like two weeks ago, but this is honestly like a time of the year where people literally quit playing this game because they have no more fodder. They have nothing else in their clubs to do or to, I guess, um, do anything in the game with. So that is kind of very interesting to see that happen right now. So EA is going to have to try to revive it at some point this week with something. Of course, we got the player of the month, Messi, that came out yesterday as well. And that SBC price just keeps dropping uh, because EA with the juice on this SBC, I was number one surprised they made this a center forward card. I thought they were going to make it a right wing because usually for player of the month, they always use the base card position. But EA went out and made it a center forward. They gave it a 96 pace card. And since they juiced the stats, made it a 96, this SBC is coming in right around 2 million coins. SBC fodder is going to continue to drop. This SBC is going to be cheaper, right? If you are anybody, and this is what I was telling my stream earlier today, if you are somebody who wants to do any SBCs right now and it's out for a while, like Messi's out for 30 days, the um, the mid-prime player pick is still out for five more days, some of these other icon SBCs like Nedved, who is now still a million coins, I, I would keep waiting on these because if we do get those two-for-one packs, uh, especially for like Nedved and for Messi, that's going to drop fodder a lot. So I would 100% expect these SBCs to get cheaper if you can wait like a week or two weeks in max to start crafting them, to start uh, saving up some fodder from rewards and stuff to do them for cheaper. I would 100% recommend that because still SBC fodder is crazy, crazy, crazy high in terms of what it normally is. So again, if you're looking for stuff to trade with this weekend, Look at these brand new what if cards. Like this for Charleston, he's 1.4. He's now 147. This is probably going to bounce up today. Diada is one of the most popular players from this team too, purely because of his pace. Ricardo Perea, right back, kind of replaces Cancelo if you want to try him out. Morales looks cool. Uh, Regulon, eh. Talvin, eh. Right? You look at the rest of his team. Mertens, okay. And just not very, very hype. Honestly, the prime icon moments were one of the most hype things that happened yesterday. And then, of course, EA didn't release lightning rounds, or they had like glitched packs for a while. So that was a mess. But uh, yeah, today on Saturday, it's just the theme of this market right now to expect panic selling. People are literally panic selling at any drop of the hat that they can because there's just not a lot to do. And any, you know, potential. Um, content that could be dropping of course when it is put out in the code like it was yesterday there's always people that are going to panic sell for that and this market just seems continually to be on strings so i would honestly expect some prices to drop into the day today on saturday as some people maybe are expecting the two for one packs uh today i don't know how likely that is again of course with the twitter stuff that we saw but People are probably going to be, you know, putting some thought into that and, and thinking that that SBC court could come or the guaranteed um, what if player SBC. So I do think you will see a bit of panic today. Now, one area of the market I want to kind of touch on is road to the finals because those are live cards, especially especially Champions League road to the finals because there will be upgrades coming to the Champions League cards next Friday that are road to the finals. Now the Europa League ones, again, they have to move on to the next leg. So there won't be any upgrades next week for Europa League cards, only for players from Champions League games on Tuesday and Wednesday from the 9th and the 10th. So Dortmund, Sevilla, Juventus, Porto, and then Liverpool, Leipzig, PSG, Barcelona. From those teams and those games, there will be upgrades. So of course we could have um, our boy, um, Brandt and Akanji upgraded again. Of course, Juventus and Porto, that's more like SBCs, but then you have Liverpool with Salah and Wijnaldum. You've got, of course, PSG with Draxler and Icardi, Barcelona with Griezmann, uh, potentially getting upgraded this next Friday. So Road to the Final Cards will be a 100% watch. 
if it's a card that has a game. And I would still, I know a lot of people have lost coins. Uh, did I just did I just sell Messi? Wow, I lost coins this Messi today. Um, I'm losing coins right now, man, because this market is very, very tough to trade in. So I'm just kind of refocusing and trying to think about spots where people actually want to spend their coins. I'm on 2.7 to 2.8 mil at the moment. As you can see, this Richarlison was really, really expensive earlier today. I'm low-key trying to find one of these tonight at about 1.4. If I can find one at 1.4, I will buy it and try to flip it into the morning because I think this guy is going to be like 1.6 again, kind of where he was. Um, we'll see about that. But a lot of these what-ifs really aren't bouncing around that much from where they were just because there's not too much hype with them. You can get on open bids as well. Open bids are great because there's less people on the market. Last night, um, when I was actually on stream, I watched a, I watched a record breaker van dyke go for um 724 000 coins on an open bid so if you do have some coins and you want to make some out there try to get on the open bids because there's less eyes on the game that means just less bidding less people paying attention to the market with the drive to make coins uh, so that's definitely one of the things you can do i'm going to be watching prime icon moments prices 100 i love trading with these cards and people that are on high budgets in this game are uh, trying out some of the new cards. So that is an area where I do think you could see some fluctuation and some demand um, this weekend still, just because of these brand new cards, their juiced up stats, and uh, people have a desire to try them, right? Because some of these Icon Moments upgrades are very, very nice. EA, GG's with those, they look fun, right? That's honestly one of the most fun things that we saw from the promo this weekend. But I do think you will see some panic selling this weekend, especially today. Um, and as we look towards the weekly sell-off, we'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. But road to the final live items and still some of these what-if cards I would keep an eye on. I'm not too much in the investing in fodder type stuff, but if there were to be a guaranteed what-if SBC today, I think you would see some of the fodder go up for sure. I don't know how much how expensive that kind of SBC would be, but still your 83s and your 84s, if you want to do a club stock at the very least, some of these cards don't look too bad right now, right? If you I mean, you've got Douglas Costa, who's like 8.8K, but when big time SBCs come out, I mean, this guy goes upwards of like 15,000 coins in the heat of the moment. So you can see Douglas Costa when he gets to about eight to 9K, he usually then shoots up to 13 at some point. And right now he's back at the eight to 9K range. So some, some of your good SBC links are getting kind of low again. So this could be something to keep an eye on for 83s and 84s since they are pretty low on the market right now. And I do think that if they release a guaranteed what if SBC, they could do like an 83 or 84 rated squad with uh, an inform or two. And uh, that could be basically like the perfectly priced SBC to make people try to gamble. But then of course as well, um, try to pack one of these big what if cards because it's all about SBCs right now in this game. And if EA are doing a great job of uh, taking coins off the market, making that like the, the sole focus of what people want to do. So that's the video for today, boys. I know a lot of you guys are losing coins and that makes you not very hyped to either play this game or to even try to trade. But I do want to try to continue to bring the best content possible in terms of the market, just analyzing it. And of course, explaining why things are down uh, where they are at and what these new pack codes, what these new packs could do to the game. Cause it could be a disaster if they were to release those today, but it, not, it looks like we're not expecting them yet. We'll probably see a pretty heavy weekly sell off. Hopefully uh, we can see some what if movements, some goals scored today on Saturday from, from teams that have got multiple goals scored already. Like uh, of course, Dortmund will be heavily watching them because of their game today on Saturday. Of course, Arsenal versus Burnley. If Burnley can put a few goals past, or sorry, if Arsenal can put a few goals past Burnley today, we might have an Odegaard upgrade. So that's the video for your Saturday, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.